Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video and got some Town Hall 9 action for you guys from the war against Crystal Warrior. Uh, once again, good job to Immoral Thieves. You saw some of their Town Hall 10 attacks already, probably. I'm recording these the same night though. And um, I thought we'd take a look at the all the different ways air attacks are working right now. Um, it's hard not to show them, to be honest, because for every ground attack, we're seeing uh, two, three, three, yeah, two, three air attacks for every ground attack. So t two to three times as many of them. And it's crazy to think the air is dominating that much, but that's just what we've been seeing. And uh, I don't know, I think there needs to be some kind of change, but I don't want to go into detail about that. Let's just take a look at some of these awesome attacks, all the different ways people are using it. And uh, this first one is something rather new, actually. The Rage, and I think like four Skelly spells just to take out the queen. Uh, it's a pretty big investment because he's not getting anything else. I think the test that's there was a bit of a surprise. If I, uh, yeah, I think this must have been a cleanup attack, or I mean a fresh hit, because it's a lot of investment just for the queen, and it feels like he could have dropped his king and his queen and gotten more value by getting the Teslas too. But he goes ahead and drops his king and queen at the bottom here to deal with the CC troops, and I think he wants his queen to eventually step up for that air defense. The problem though is the witch, the cannon, all that stuff makes him have to use the ability early. He won't get that bottom air defense. So really, heroes and quite a few spells only getting the CC troops and the queen. So doesn't look like he has a, a good shot at this point, but I think this attack, if nothing else, testifies to the power of air. Uh, four Lava Hounds, actually five with the CC, uh, so kind of a Penta. Uh, 14 Balloons, five Haste, it's going to be a pretty comfortable three-star. I think that, like I said, testifies to how powerful this is right now. Um, comes in kind of the top left here, is bypassing a few Teslas, which uh, probably not the best way to go about doing it, but... Regardless, his troops are moving through, the Lava Hound's doing the tanking, haste deployment, pretty solid, just moving those balloons through, and the air defense is right here starting to engage, but has basically one extra hound for each of those back end air defenses, so can cover that up pretty good. The air defense in the middle there actually didn't have a Lava Hound on it, but the balloons are, you know, kind of tanky. They take two hits to take down, plus the pups get in the way, so that one air defense was distracted, and the last Lava Hound comes in, Balloons just kind of swarming these last few defenses. There are a few wizard towers and some Teslas up, but I believe that Lava Hound will get out in front and tank for the Teslas in just a moment. Yep, there it goes. So awesome stuff, and I think didn't get the the most value that he or as much value as he would have wanted for that initial spell investment and hero investment, but it works out fine and. Uh, as long as the deployment's good, you have a lot of leeway um, in terms of what you can get away with at Town Hall 9 right now for air attacks. So we'll go ahead and fast forward. Nice attack to Raj. Got four more for you guys, so quite a few we're looking at today. We have 14, just going down one here to Spirit of Victory. All little letters and spread out. Um, I don't know why people were doing this with their bases. But we're seeing the queen being put very far towards the outside, if not outside the base. And oftentimes Tesla's guarding her, plus the CC kind of really offset too. I think it actually makes it easy to do this type of attack where you just come in with like a golem to soak up all that damage. Then the heroes, he even invests the rage here, the poison. And it's pretty easy for the attacker to just kind of mow right through your troops. Even if like the town hall and there's other HP, it doesn't matter. 30-30 um, heroes especially, too easy to, to take all that stuff out. You can see the queen actually will step up and get the air defense as well. So some pretty good value for that initial push. And from there has a pretty similar thing to the last attacker. The difference being he has an air defense down and I think might get a few more defenses uh, as a bonus. Plus the Teslas. Uh, he has one less Lava Hound, though, but has an extra heal that the last attacker didn't. So pretty comparable, um, just coming in through, through this base on each side, counterclockwise, working his way around. The defenses are kind of spread out in a weird way, but the Archer Towers are all being tanked by the Lava Hounds, so it's a fairly easy deployment. Just come straight at those Archer Towers. Uh, last Lava Hound about to go in for that last air defense. The second one pops just in time for the balloons to get there. 
really too easy um, to take out these bases. Uh, that heel spell almost swagged. Not sure if he needed it. I think he'll swag a Lava Hound, actually. So just crush that base. Awesome attack to Spirit. Go ahead and fast forward. Uh, drops that haste down because those uh, uh, air traps were actually getting a little bit... Uh, funky on him and taking out some of his balloons so he actually i think dropped that lava hound to kind of tank if nothing else although in the end i don't think it was that close anyway but maybe a little bit of a scare there <laughs> you never want to uh not get the three star when you're swagging something because then it's the it's like if i had dropped that i wouldn't have gotten i would have got the three star so that can happen sometimes i haven't seen it happen in a while though uh let's see actually while I'm thinking about that, I think Genesis for a while actually outlawed swag spells. We still don't see it very much because I think someone had one of those attacks where they dropped or they didn't drop like a spell or a troop or something and they ran out of time with like one second left, got 99%. And I think that started something where you can't swag spells anymore. I'm not sure if that's still an official rule, but I don't see it much anymore to be honest. So uh, maybe it's a courtesy thing to their clan. Maybe it's just to keep people from failing attacks. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, but this next attack by Ganicus is one of those heavier... You guys saw this in the attack meta... Uh, meta can't talk. Attack meta video. Uh, a heavier kill squad attack that really invests most of those spells in the kill squad. Brings the bowlers. The rage heal combination on those bowlers is so effective. And as long as you have them moving through a reasonable part of the base, uh, they'll do some good stuff. The jump spell was not the best placement. I'm not sure why he wanted to put it so far over, but um, it didn't really reach his troops. So the bowlers had to go through the wall, but no big deal. Um, eventually they got through, took out what he needed. The two air defenses, the queen, the CC, got some Teslas, other buildings as well. And from there, it's a pretty easy deployment. These haste spells have become a staple. I'm um, seeing them a lot more than the rages. And I think it makes sense that balloons often don't need that extra DPS. And I think the haste actually makes the balloons move quicker than the rage does. Although you don't have that uh, same spell radius. Um, but it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. It allows you to be more, um, bring more of them and drop them in more specific locations instead of a rage, which uh, is a little bit bigger. But in in the end, you're you're having to kind of consolidate your spell space in one area of the base, or yeah, if that makes sense. Uh, but a swag spell there, uh, nice stuff. Dropping it on the CC and the balloons, ton of them left up. Awesome attack, Anakis. And you can see how many troops he has left up. The bowlers, the king, the queen, the golem, all those balloons crushed it. I think we have, what, one more? 16, no, two more. This video is going by really slowly for some reason. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. But this is a zap quake attack. Um, dropping down the quake, two zaps, just taking out that middle air defense. When you're looking at what air defense to take out, this is probably an important point to make. You should do one that's not going to leave a vacancy of air targeting defenses where there's no um, air defense because I've talked about this in the past. If you have like a, a section of the base like that, your balloons are more likely to get targeted and taken out because no lava hound would go to that area if there's no air defense there. But if there's still wizard towers, archer towers, that kind of stuff... Um, your balloons are still going to have to go there and they'll be unprotected. So you want to take out an air defense that's not going to uh, clear out a part of the base for your uh, balloons to have to take out all by themselves. So by taking out that middle air defense, it makes it so, so there's still kind of an anchor at each corner of the base that you can see there's a triangle of air defenses. So there's a little bit of a anchor for each lava hound to go to and kind of tank in a central location for those balloons. Uh, so it works out real nicely here, that lap, uh, Lava Hound coming in for the last air defense balloons, just swarming this base. His Lava Hounds actually pop relatively early on him because there's a part of the attack right here where there's no Lava Hound and that air defense is just going to work. But when there's like 20 balloons left up, it doesn't have much of a chance, uh, even if it does take those out in two shots. So uh, crushed it, Stevie G8. Nice attack there. That I'll do it for this one. We'll go ahead and fast forward and take a look at one more attack. Um, too easy, I'm telling you guys. We're seeing so many air attacks and so many different types. Not even the cleanest attacks sometimes, but they're getting the job done. And uh, I'm still waiting for Genesis to kind of ride this wave because we've, for some reason, have str still been struggling with the Town Hall 9s. Um, but we've been doing great on Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 11s. So it's weird. We're still doing good in wars. 
but we're just not feeling that that Town Hall 9 uh, easiness yet for some reason. I don't know. I think I think we're almost there, to be honest. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Let's take a look at this last one, though. A Queen Charge. Um, just another way you can utilize uh, the balloons. And basically, the Queen Charge is a good thing to use when the base is spread out. You can get a nice part of it taken out and then your queen can kind of go off into retirement as I call it and just kind of walk around the base not needing spells. You can see the expos are kind of separated from where she is so he doesn't have to invest a whole lot in her. Uh, the uh, queen can kind of just waltz around taking out all these defenses. The king comes in. I think the king was intended to go into the base. I'm not sure here because I'm pretty sure he wanted that second air defense up top with the Tesla Archer Tower. That's some pretty good value just sitting there. But for some reason, the king uh, doesn't go into the base. I guess he didn't funnel the king in if he wanted the king to go in. I'm not sure. But the queen's not going to go up. She's going to take out that storage, then head down south. So there's going to be a little bit of the, the base that's not going to be taken out up top there. And that's a pretty significant thing when you have an extra air defense and a few extra air targeting buildings left up. Um, so not not just something to look over at all. Um, the balloon, or the, having trouble talking. Ah, the second video, I'm telling you guys, the second video, I can record the first one fine, but the second video of the night, I tend to sound like I'm like half drunk. I'm slurring my words a little bit. Um, well... I don't know. You guys tell me how it sounds. But um, anyway, back to this attack. Uh, Lava Hound moving in. That last air defense doing some work on his balloons because, like I said, it just wasn't accounted for in the attack plan. Luckily, though, the queen makes her way over, and that's the power of the queen walk. If things go wrong, if you still have your queen, you're in pretty good shape. So a little bit more security there in that sense. Has the ability to pop, and she takes out some of those traps. She'll step up for those last few defenses, and really towards the end of the attack, nothing can hurt the queen because uh, the defenses are tend to be spread out, um, not concentrated enough to really uh, be an issue for her. So um, I think we missed a skeleton spell as well somewhere because now there's a bunch of skeletons running around. But nice attack to Gannicus, and that'll do it for this video. As I stumbled through it, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Probably be doing a Town Hall 10 base build will be the next video you guys see. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching one more time. See you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.